Hello, hello. So I'm putting together one of those videos where I put a bunch of my clips from old readings together because um, I'm comparing it with, well, you'll see soon when I post it. Anyway, um, had this th things, so I'm watching old clips of mine c combined with newer clips of mine because of, of how I'm putting this, the video that I'm working on together. Um, anyway, so what I am feel like I'm getting are... Okay, so I'm going to say a theory and then I'm going to check it with cards, essentially. Um, because looking at all the clips that I'm putting together for this reading has me thinking that the intention was just to go straight upstairs. And let's say the killer believes that he's just going to go in and go upstairs, that's the mission, and then leave. There's someone else in the home that's making sure if he does need help or encounters help because Ethan's there, not expected or supposed to be there, ends up being there. Um, so it's like that was the delay. The delay was Ethan's not supposed to be there. Ethan is there. We have to put it off a little bit to get someone else in the house just in case there is a problem that comes from Ethan now being present when he wasn't supposed to be present. So the killer goes in the house thinking he's just going to go right upstairs. Instead, encounters Ethan and Xana. There's some kind of struggle. The person who's also in the house hears that there's the struggle, goes out to help. Hey, I'm here to help you because Brian probably looks over at this man as he's encountering these suspects, or as he's encountering these victims that were not intended to be victims, right? He wasn't planning on encountering Ethan and Xana. He goes in, encounters one of them, has some kind of scuffle. Um, the other person in the house hears it, comes over and says, I'm here to help you, um, to, to Brian, okay? Allegedly, this is, again, I'm just checking a, a theory here that's coming to me. So the other person that's in the house that was not going to get involved. And remember I said there was some kind of code of silence. It's like the one person and Brian didn't even talk to each other. If he didn't even know that there was someone in the else in the house, but that person was there to help him if anything fell apart on behalf of the link. So then he's encountering a struggle with Ethan. The person comes out, I'm here to help you, helps with that. Um, I lost my train of thought. Helps with that. That explains, I'm here to help you. That explains, because in the beginning I kept getting, Brian was doing it alone, everything alone. And then as we kept looking into it, bits and pieces started to come together of like, this is how other people could have helped in, in some ways or other ways. Um, so I just want to, I just want to check this. Is that what happened? Did Brian go in thinking he was just going to go upstairs to the girls and then leave, but upon entering the house encountered either Ethan or Xana, which that was the other thing. I thought it was Ethan he encountered out in the hallway or kitchen or living room, whatever. But I'm also feeling like if he encountered Xana, Let's say he, he comes in the house, encounters Xana. Xana gets spooked because she's like, what the heck? Runs back into the room. As Brian's following her back into the room, Ethan comes out. There's some kind of struggle. I'm here to help you. Someone, that's when the person holds Ethan back. Xana has her phone at this point in her hand, so he goes in, has an altercation with Xana, 
comes back out, does what I believe he did to Ethan, which is was somebody holding him back, somebody holding Ethan back while the killer did stuff to him. So that would that would make sense of that if if Xana was the one that was followed into the room because not only is she awake, but there's the 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 TikTok claims, there's the food delivery. So if she's the one that's awake, encounter someone that someone follows her back but then she wakes up ethan or ethan wakes up or whatever gets up to fight back is held back by that other person the person has to go in and take care of xana because xana was on her phone or had her phone or they probably saw the phone light that may have been why she was on tiktok she probably went to open up her phone to make a phone call or something and it was too late because the person had entered the room. Um, let's do two rows of three. Again, please remember this is all alleged, my opinion, not fact, my opinion, based off of reading the energy. But again, it just all started to come together as I was putting those clips together and I was like, wait a minute, because it, it would make everything else make sense to me. Two rows of three about what I just said. This is the same card that when I was talking originally about if Brian had any help, it was one man was grounded in place and the other was in the car. So this would be about him having help but being in charge because he didn't ex he didn't know that there was going to be that help that would be that code of silence thing that i was picking up on i said it's almost like they didn't even say anything to one another if someone's in the house to have his back in case he needs it but that person's not set up by him that person is set up by the link so if brian doesn't know someone's in the house he has an altercation with Ethan because I also, in one of the clips that I'm posting in the new video, it's, we got the, the fired card and it, it was, I said, I believe that Brian was not in the house by himself. And then we got meeting, like meeting and it showed a bunch of people sitting at a table and then we got fired. And I keep saying over and over, I feel like Brian made a mistake because Ethan and Zana were not meant to be victims. If he had to kill Ethan and Xana because he made the mistake of running into one of them or not being careful enough or making some kind of noise, ended up getting an altercation with them, then the people who were in the house that were helping him know that he messed up and that could be where that fired card comes in because I said that it was like he made some kind of mistake by like in the eyes of the organization, he made some kind of mistake because four victims is a lot more attention on this than two would have been. My head's spinning, okay. Um, so King of Pentacles. Justice. knew I was missing something I feel like this is it because the king would be the leader too nine of pentacles reversed guarding someone being guarded um it's also like a card about hard work and like hustle type of environment like to me that is the person who's lying in wait that then has to come and help even though they weren't supposed to have to help they were there as a just in case things go wrong which they did five of cups reversed underneath of the king of pentacles self-forgiveness for the mistake of taking two extra victims. Page of Pentacles reversed. A lack of progress and it's underneath of justice. So the first two cards in reference to is, is what I'm saying, what we're supposed to be looking into. 
And we got King of Pentacles and Justice. Justice is about the truth coming out. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. Underneath of the Nine of Pentacles, reversed. So what was being given and received? Help, assistance. Okay, I feel pretty confident in this is what I believe happened. Um, Brian was there to silence the girls. Allegedly. Um, there was someone else in somewhere in that house that had been kind of waiting was meant to give the heads up when Ethan and Xana arrived home or something like that, but there was some kind of delay in that. No, it wouldn't be that. Because then it would mean that the person's not there because of the delay. I can't really see clearly if it's there is a delay and then we call someone over to the house or if someone's over at the house already and then there's a delay. I think it's someone's at the house already and then there's a delay. Because Ethan and Zana don't go right home. So that person that's already in the house waiting can't be like, okay, they're good, they're in bed because they're not coming straight home. Um, so there's someone in the house, Brian comes in encounters Xana at either the kitchen, hallway, living room, bathroom, I don't know, somewhere, encounters Xana. That freaks Xana out. She turns around, runs back to the bedroom. Ethan's probably sleeping at that point because he was not feeling well. She wakes Ethan up. Ethan jumps up, goes out into the hallway. That person and Brian are now going down the hallway together. That person says to Brian, I'm here to help you, or don't worry, I'll help you, something like that. Grabs Ethan, because Ethan's groggily at that point. He's still kind of coming to, waking up, but he's realizing what's going on and that he has to be in fight or flight response. Well, fight response. That second person grabs Ethan. Xana grabs her phone. Someone, Brian, comes in to the room grabs the phone and does something to Xana. Ethan's already being held back in the hallway. He turns around, comes out in the hallway, takes care of Ethan. The people that are there to help him then know that he messed up because these two people are dead and they're not supposed to be, but they are because he encountered her and then chased her and that started this whole domino effect of mistakes. Then he goes upstairs and kills the girls and that's why there's phone calls to the boyfriend because they did hear something the ex-boyfriend early on in a reading i said i felt like they heard something and the phone calls stopped when the person made their way upstairs that would explain that too did i say everything um so the person's holding Ethan back, killer does stuff to Ethan, then goes upstairs. The knife sheath is probably not from the murder weapon. The knife sheath is probably from the person who is in the house to help. Once Brian messed up, that person planted a sheath with his DNA because he realized this isn't going to go well because this is four people instead of two. And I know that the link is not going to be happy. I know that there's going to be mad attention on this case now because it's four instead of two. We need to make sure that we have someone to blame for this. Okay, um, 
that's what I'm getting. I, again, I'm putting together a video because uh, essentially there is um, another psychic who some of you have been sending me links to that psychic's content and there's a lot that lines up. So I'm trying to put together a little video to show you that. And it's not me saying the person is stealing my content or anything like that. It's me saying this person doesn't know who I am and we're using the same words for certain things. It, it's very much in alignment after, after you see the video. But this is what was all coming together in my mind from that because I, again, was watching older videos and then medium old videos and then newer videos because I was trying to match what they were saying with when I, when I said it, if that makes sense. So that's how all of this just came together in my mind. But I am pretty confident that that is what I believe happened. Talk to you soon.